Welcome to VinciClassroom.com. Today we are looking at Cape A level maths, that's advanced level maths. We are looking at Unit 2, Module 2. I'm Elvis Daniel. I, I'm sure that you're excited to be with us here today. And we'll be looking at the first topic that is in Module 2, that sequences and coming out of sequences will have recurrence relations. So we hope that you are going to just pay some very close attention to what we will discuss today. Now the first thing we need to know is what is a sequence. Because if we know what a sequence is, then we are able to proceed with various calculations. Now a sequence is really a collection of terms, right? Collection of terms. And these terms are connected by a pattern. So a collection of terms connected by a pattern. So when we speak of a sequence, we can define a sequence, for example, as AN, which means we can have the term A1, A2, A3, so N can change, UN, etc. So we can have U1, U2, U3, because there are many terms in the sequence, right? Now the first thing we want to do is to look at listing some terms in a sequence. Listing terms. Look at this example. If un, that's a sequence, is equal to 3 to the power n plus n, we want to list the first three terms. Right, now listing the first three terms and we are, we are going to start knowing that n means natural number and we'll be familiar with that we start natural means counting numbers will start at one so n would be one two and then n would be three so it means that we can find u1 u2 and u3 so u1 we'll find u2 and also u3 now first to get u1 this is when n is one n is one so n would be one here and here so we get three to the power one plus one that would give us 4 because 3 to the power 1 is simply 3 plus 1 that's 4 now u2 u2 would mean at this time that n becomes 2 if n becomes 2 we have 3 to the power 2 plus 2 that's 3 to the power 2 plus 2 3 to the power 2 is 3 squared on 9 plus 2 would give us 11 so we have two terms so far now u3 would mean that n is now 3 so we get 3 to the power 3 plus 3 that's 3 to the power 3 plus 3. 3 to the power 3, 3 times 3, 9 times 3, 27, right? Plus 3 would give us 30. So 3 to the power 3 plus 3, so we get 30 there. So that's our first example in listing terms. Let's look at another example as we move along. Suppose we have an, given the sequence, an is equal to n factorial on n plus 1. We want to list again the first three terms. Which means in this case the sequence is now a n not u n as we did before. So we want a 1, we want a 2 and we want a 3. a 1 would mean that n becomes 1. So when n becomes 1 we have 1 factorial over 1 plus 1. So 1 factorial over 1 plus 1. You will know that you can get the values of factorial on your calculator. So 1 factorial is simply 1. 1 plus 1 would give you 2. The answer would be a half. Now when you get to A2, it means that N is now 2. So you have 2 factorial over 2 plus 1. 2 factorial is 2. So we get 2 over 3. Now we get to a3, which means n is now 3, so we have 3 factorial over 3 plus 1. 3 factorial over 3 plus 1. Now 3 factorial is 6, and there is a way, if you don't have a calculator of working out the factorial, because 3 factorial really means 3 times 2 times 1. 2 factorial is 2 times 1, and 1 factorial, as you know, will just be the 1. And 4 factorial 
will be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So it's really taking the number and reducing it by 1 until you get down to 1. So 3 factorial is actually 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. But you can get that on your calculator. So we'll get 6 above and below we get 4. And that will give you 3, 3 on 2 if you cancel. And that's 1 and a half, 1.5. So those are two examples in listing terms in a sequence.